morning. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, today we are starting our conference, a Reflexive Museum. This is the second attempt to hold an important international conference, and we tried it uh, to make it more home-like. The idea originated because the garage is changing, and uh, we are undergoing a lot of transformations. It seemed to us it would be interesting to uh, consider uh, the problem what the museum is, uh, how it is changing, and what are its goals. We have a wonderful team uh, who invented uh, all this conference. It's Kate Fowl and Nastya Mitushina who moved this uh, project forward to its realization. We have wonderful speakers. I'm very happy to uh, see you here. I hope that those who uh, are in the garage for the first time will see all its uh, advantages uh, and beauties. Uh, so I uh, hope that you w it would be interesting to listen to Ekaterina Golovachuk, who is from Ome Studio. She will speak about this layout uh, in the corner and it will be implemented next year for the garage. And thank you very much for coming. Uh, please ask questions, uh, be interested. We hope this conference will change the situation in Russia a little bit and will raise the level of the discussion to a much higher level. So now I give the floor to Kate Fowl. Kate. On a Thursday at midday, this is, uh, it's wonderful. And uh, first I have two apologies before I introduce anything. The first is, um, I am really sorry for not speaking Russian. Believe me, I would love to. It would make my life a lot easier here. So I will get, I will improve. And second, I have to apologize for the fact that I'm also really terrible with people's names. So I'm about to thank a whole load of people and I'm going to pronounce them wrong. So I apologize for that because that's terrible, I realize, and it's, I will improve. So, um, as Anton was explaining, this is the second international conference that Garage has organized, and it's actually the first in Russia that is um, focusing on contemporary museums. Um, it's not only a topic that is really quite pressing for the development of the art ecosystem in Moscow, but um, the event now comes at a time which truly underscores how working in uncertain environments can make any discussions we want to have all the more complex. So before I go into more detail, I'd like to say some thank yous. The conference is organized with the support of the Moscow Department of Culture, Directorate of Educational Programs. And we would like to thank Ekaterina Kalach Kalachikova, Director, Moscow Department of Culture, Directorate of Educational Programs, and Alina Vasilenko, Assistant Director, for their big support on this program. We'd also like to thank the Moscow Center of Museums Development and its director, Tatiana Gefar, for the administrative support that we've received. At Garage, there is a wonder team that knows no fear when it comes to uh, taking on new challenges pretty much on a monthly basis at the moment. So there are many, many people who need to be um, thanked who work at Garage. So as a general thank you to everybody who has been involved in this. But in particular, I want to thank Asya Ejonova, Maria Sarasheva, and Brittany Stewart for making the conference happen. And personally, I'd like to thank um, Vika, who is the person that makes my life so much better. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to the technical team, because it's very rare that they actually get acknowledged for what they do. So, um, Viktor Banikov, Maxim Lapshin, Alexei Pevsner, Alexander Vasiliev, and Yuri Volkov. Thank you. And also, I want to thank the two Elenas, who are going to basically help us communicate between English and Russian today. Um, the people who are in the box at the back, are Elena Marieva and Elena Proskurina. Thank you very much. So finally, as ever, thank you to our interns. There are many people walking around in orange um, sweaters today. And if you want to know anything, they are more than willing to answer any questions. Well, most questions. So. OK, so the beginning of this conference um, started with a question which is, what is a 21st century museum of contemporary art? It is, of course, not an original inquiry in any way, but it is one that raises many important issues for the cultural community in Moscow right now, 
And it is important for Garage to think carefully about six years into our development as we are building our first permanent home just metres away from here in Gorky Park. In devising the conference, we often faltered around how to share a language from which to begin the discussion. For example, it has been explained numerous times to me that in Russian, while the word museum is widely understood as having cultural importance, for the general public, it still remains most often associated with its ancient Greek origins as a temple dedicated to the muses, with a primary function of historic conservation, which is not what we at Garage nor any of the other contemporary institutions Moscow, in Moscow hope to become, I'm sure. Also, apparently the museum is frequently described as influential rather than friendly or responsive, and it's considered to be reserved rather than dynamic or reflexive. So when we finally arrived at the title, um, The Reflexive Museum, Responsive Spaces for Public Ideas and Art in English, which we did together, finding a native equivalent to the adjectives reflexive and responsive proved challenging. Thus, for its Russian title, we have used the word resolute to underscore the conference's goals, which is to share in dialogue about the potentials for progress and the need for development. Then instead of using a subtitle, we have described specific aims. These are to reflect on what it means to build an institution focusing on notions of public or publicness, to explore the museum as a repository of experience, both physically and conceptually, and to consider what it means to develop cultural spaces as laboratories for art production and creative thinking. As is evident in the way we have structured the conference, we want to look back at important precedents, as well as looking to important case studies, state, academic, and private, of the present and for the future. There is much to be explored in the establishment of the Museum of Painterly Culture in Moscow, for example, which I will hear more about in a bit. Here's a short extract just to uh, give you a taster from Malevich's provocative text on the museum that he presented in 1919, which still has resonances today. He says, the setting up of a contemporary museum is a collection of contemporaries' projects and nothing more. Only those projects which can be adapted to the skeleton of life or which will lead to the skeleton of new forms of it can be preserved for a time. Instead of collecting all sorts of old stuff, we must form laboratories of a worldwide creative building apparatus. And from its axes will come forth artists of living forms rather than dead representations of objectivity. At the same time, it's look important to look to the current um, system with museums in Moscow, because it's also going through a radical change right now. And this could establish many important precedents for our future creative life here. To name a few examples, um, recently, the last year or so, the creation of Moscow's new National Center for Contemporary Art has caused um, possibly the hottest discussions in Russian art society for the last decade. Um, also, the longest running directorship of a museum came to an end in 2013 at the State Pushkin Museum of Fine Arts, when Irina Antonova, who had been director since 1945, stepped down. And this marked the potential for change in the most Russian of museum, um, Moscow art museums. Indeed, there are actually three of our speakers today, Marina Loshak, who's become the director of the Pushkin, Zelfira Tregolova, and Natalia Samolenko, who have each taken on the directorship of major Moscow institutions in the last few months, signaling many positive changes ahead. Also, the gap between art museums and historical and reserve museums has started to close. For example, under the new directorship of Alina Safrienka, the, museum, the, the Moscow City Museum has appointed an experienced contemporary art curator so that a fruitful alliance between history and contemporary art could be established. And of course, this change is not just happening in Moscow, but in many places around the country. So just to give one obvious example, in St. Petersburg, the um, 250th anniversary of the Hermitage, which is the first public art museum in Russia, is surprisingly being celebrated in part by hosting the European Biennial Manifesta, and ICOM is also hosting one of their conferences there later this year. In addition to the cultural climate, it would be remiss not to reflect for a moment on the events in the Ukraine and what impact they have on a conference such as this, and indeed life in general here in Moscow. After all, to think about a reflexive museum means to engage in how art institutions can respond to the society in which they are established. To launch a book entitled Radical Museums 
is to bring to the fore the possibility for change through our institutions. At Garage, we postponed an exhibition that was to take place in our project space from March the 7th, which was entitled Between Participant and Witness. This was to present work by three artists, Nikita Karan, Lada Nakonechna, and Mikola Ridney, who are all based in Kiev and have all been responding through their practices to the political situation events that in, unfolded in Maidan. In the end, a couple of days before the opening, when it came to the reality of presenting an exhibition in Moscow now, the artists felt the timing and context to be wrong. When we had conversations about the potential to hold a public discussion about what was happening in Kiev at the time, over Skype at least, but um, basically after a number of conversations with the artists and with people here, it was felt that even this was not right to do at the moment because everybody needed some time and space for reflection. In other words, the desire to find a way to discuss, present and support such work under such circumstances is there. The most productive way to do it, from the artist's perspective and for the team at Garage, is what needs to be, to be better and more fully understood, particularly because of the speed at which the events are moving now and the speed at which it is possible or not possible to engage in political issues directly through art. Of course, there are many other responses and reactions to the moment we are in, including many conversations of boycotts and new alliances. So this is just one example of the complexity under which we need to look at the notion of reflexivity in relation to culture, society, and politics. I am sure each of you in the audience have many more examples and experiences you could speak about. I bring this example up by way of expressing that I hope we can at least start to address what it means for us to find constructive approaches to engage in difficult and unsettling issues as people who really care about how art institutions function. It is urgent that our cultural spaces provide access to knowledge and information, they provide the agency to ask questions, and that they can also, we hope that they can provide the forum for public debate. Before I hand over to Nastia Matushina, who will introduce our first session, I want to give a quick overview of the day. I'm not gonna take long, because I believe you all have a sheet of paper that explains what's going on in the program, or what's going on throughout the day. Can people put their hands up if they don't have this sheet, because then we can make sure you get one without moving. But basically, we have four interconnected sessions today, each culminating in a discussion that we very much hope you will actively participate in and ask questions. That you is everybody. At the end of the day, we've also left some time to try and start to kind of think back through some of the conversations that were had today. And um, so please bear this in mind and um, think of questions or kind of write down the things that you're thinking about during the day for that final session. Then tomorrow at 8 p.m., Claire Bishop will present her recent book, which Gerard has just, just released in Russian, called Radical Museology or What's Contemporary in Museums of Contemporary Art. After her lecture, we will also have another opportunity for discussion and questions. If you want to cheat, you can also buy the book today. And then you can prepare questions for tomorrow in advance. So, without further ado, I just want to say a sincere thank you to all the speakers who have um, taken time out of their busy schedules to be with us now. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we can produce together today. Over to you, Nastia. Добрый день. Я буду говорить по-русски. Пришли. Сейчас мы открываем вводную сессию. Now we are opening uh, our new session. It has no name, but it has very powerful, two very powerful speakers. And this introductory session uh, will be on the radical, most radical project in museology, uh, about which. Uh, inhabitants of Russia have uh, uh, unfortunately forgotten. And uh, this is uh, the Museum of Art Culture that then was renamed into the uh, Museum of uh, Painting uh, Art. Uh, it will be made by Marina Goff. And the second uh, presentation will be made by the architect who will speak about the museum as a space where ideas uh, can be implemented and this presentation will be 
connected with the building where we will move uh, soon and uh, uh, also uh, the experience of other museum uh, will be discussed and then we will have a, a discussion uh, Barina Lashak, director of the Pushkin Art Museum, will take part in it, plus to the speakers. And after this uh, short uh, discussion, we will try to uh, define a direction for other sessions. We will try to understand how uh, uh, museums should develop, how they should work with collections, and what discussion should uh, take place. Maria uh, Goff is professor of uh, contemporary art and architecture of the Harvard University. University. Uh, so she is uh, mainly interested in modernism and post-war art. And as to modernism, she is keen on Russian avant-garde. Marina, uh, Maria is the author of uh, a number of very important works. In 2005, uh, she issued uh, a book, uh, Painter as a Producer, Russian Constructivism in the Revolution. Today, Marina will speak about uh, futuristic museology. Uh, she is also uh, keen on, uh, yes, she's also keen on Russia. Her interest is uh, non-standard, very unusual. She now works uh, on travels of foreigners to the Soviet Union in the 30s, and simultaneously she works on a number of other articles. Uh, in October 2013, in the October magazine, she published a test, the drawing between reportage and the memory, the Art uh, Riviera's uh, uh, album. So it is uh, describes the, uh, his visit uh, to the Soviet Union. Now, please, Maria, take the floor.